What up everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to Case Digital. Today's video, we're actually gonna be discussing the question of how to replace letters in a string in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in, start coding. What up everybody, so like I mentioned, we are replacing letters or tackling that question of how to replace letters in a string in Python. And I wanted to make this quick little video because essentially, um, this is one I use a lot and sometimes, um, you know, I see a lot of people, especially when I had was started was starting out, you know, had a lot of questions about how to do some of these things. And like when you learn about this and doing different things, like you can learn how to iterate through stuff use loops to go through like a string and you know replace things or get the index and then go do that but essentially in Python they make it really easy with the string method of replace um, really simple I have one of my previous videos I believe I talked about how to like remove characters you can do you can help you can use this replace method to help remove some of those characters but its ultimate goal is to replace a character with whatever you want it to be so in this horribly spelled example um, I am going to walk you through how I would use the replace method to essentially create this sentence in to a um, kind of a sentence that makes more sense. So one way we can do that is we can essentially just, like I mentioned, use that replace function where we just go text. Um, and I'm gonna say text is going to be equal to uh, text.replace. Um, and you have to be careful because if I were just like, so for instance, let's just start talking about like, I wanna replace this word to make, to say today. So if I change this to um, replace W with D, then what you have to be careful of is if I print this out now, um, date one is gonna equal to text. If I run this now what you'll see is it looks like today oh hey we did it we made you know we made this into today like we wanted to s gun yeah i'm not even gonna try and pronounce any of this um but you see like but then we changed this to a great day and oh look it also changed this w here to be the d as well and that's one thing you have to be very careful about because in this in this way we were actually fortunate enough that it turned it into the word that we wanted to which is unintended um but look we got today and day and like the goal of this sentence what I was tr trying to say is today is going to be a great day um, and it did that but that's one thing that you need to be very careful about with replace is if you do pass in the string that you're replacing or that you're going to use replace on essentially it'll do that for the whole string so anytime it finds like in our case that we put a w anytime it found a w throughout the whole string it replaced it with d so for instance if I had like another w up here like it was just all like something like that you'll see it's going to change all of those w's to be a d so if for instance you have as part of a sentence that where you don't want to change the W, you probably should do something where it's like, you can actually use this replacement to do whole words. To way, uh, to be, today. And if I run that now, you'll see that this now stayed the same. It's all the W's and that is today. So that's just one thing um, that you need to be watchful of, of when you're using the replace method is it'll go through whatever string you pass it in. It'll, it'll go through and replace everything with what, if it finds like a letter or a phrase or whatever you put in there, it's going to replace the whole thing. Um, so if we go back to our original thing with a D. Now we can just essentially try this with, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and do this. And we can now try an I, you know, I with, or an E with an I. But again, what happens if you do this is the fact that you're going to run into an issue because I just changed that, I got this correct. And then that changed that. But so it's like, oh man, like I'm messing up my string. Well, that's where, like I mentioned, you go back and uh, you change this to match, you know, specific words like S is and then you get hey today is gonna and then change I can then I can do something like uh, I can keep copy and paste this but this is the other thing I wanted to show essentially you can just do a dot replace again on top of that isn't that crazy where I can say uh, double n I want to change out for just one end um, if I run that now what is that gonna give me update two hey oh gone I want to be so you can do stuff like that now I want to change the, instead of that I was like oh that's actually not what I want um I want to change that double n e to be a double N A. So you can just, you can mess around. And that's the beautiful thing about replace is I can just cascade all these. And the reason being is because this essentially is a function call. So when it returns, like you saw up here, it's gonna return that value to this. It's gonna basically have another string value. And so you can say like, well, this is a string value. So I can just tack on another dot replace and that'll then be, a, this will be an additional string value. And then if I end up here, um, I can say, well, actually I don't like that, you know, that and I'm gonna say today is a, I'm gonna say going to, and if I switch that out, you'll see, hey, today is going to be a, and then I can switch out, you know, this word, switch that out, or, and now we have today is going to be a great day, question mark, but then I could just switch out that last letter dot replace, um, so the question mark with a exclamation point, and now we get an excite, rather than a question, we get an exciting sentence about today is going to be a great day. So that is essentially how you can replace letters.
letters, uh, phrases, um, sentences, even if you wanted to. Um, cause I could use this whole thing. Like I could pass this in as my, um, my sentence. I could say print, um, x dot replace. And I'm going to just say, I'm going to pass this whole thing in, right? I'm going to say replace this whole text with, um, today is going to be a great day. So I can replace that and I can print that out. And that should be our first up thing that comes up. And it says today is going to be a great day. So that's the thing is you can pass this whole variable in and you can paste the whole sentence. So anytime like say you have like editing a book, I don't know, like you had a bunch of text you're going through and you saw like this sentence keep popping up and you're like, oh, I don't really want it to be that. I want to re-edit it like, or do something. Like you can make this be something where it's just like, take that whole line, replace it with, you know, my new line. Um, but essentially you can use a replace method. You can pass in whole things. Um, you can use individual letters, individual characters. You can even do it with numbers. Like if there was a one here, um, I could say dot replace um, one with nothing. And you should see our final results should be right there. And today's gonna be a great day with nothing on it. So, um, and yeah, the update one that removed that one. So there it is. That is essentially how you can use um, the Python string replace method to replace letters in a string within Python. Try this out on some of your programs that you're messing with. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them and or spin off in a whole nother video to answer those questions um, that you may have. If this if this video provided any value, please hit that like button. Um, help us boost that YouTube al algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, we'll subscribe. Let's learn together about Python, software development, and any other questions you have related to programming. And until next time, keep on coding and have a great day.